Marilyn Monroe was born Norma Jean Mortensen on June 1, 1926 and died on August 4, 1962. Marilyn was an American actress, model, and singer, who became a huge star for playing comedic, blonde bombshell, characters, and who was destined to become one of Hollywood's and indeed one of the world's most popular sex symbols of all time and who was symbolic of the 50s and 60s sexual revolution. Marilyn Monroe was a top-billed actress for only a decade, but her films grossed $200 million, equivalent to over $2 billion in today's box office figures, by the time of her death in 1962. Long after her death, to this day Marilyn Monroe continues to be a major icon of pop culture. In 1999, the American Film Institute ranked Marilyn Monroe sixth on its list of the greatest female screen legends from the golden age of Hollywood. Born and raised in Los Angeles, Marilyn spent most of her childhood in an orphanage and several foster homes where it was alleged that she was sexually abused. In 1942 at the young age of 16 Marilyn married her first husband James Doherty a policeman. In 1944 her husband was shipped out to the Pacific. Marilyn while working at the factory radio plane company she met David Conover a photographer from the first motion picture unit. While modeling for Conover her photos were deemed more suitable for pin-up and for men's magazines thus began a successful pin-up modeling career, which in turn led to film contracts with 20th Century Fox and Columbia Pictures. In 1946 she divorced Doherty to concentrate on her rising career. After a series of minor film roles, she signed a new contract with Fox in late 1950. Over the next two years, she became a popular actress with roles in several comedies, including As Young As You Feel, Monkey Business, with Cary Grant, and in the dramas Clash By Night and Don't Bother To Knock. Marilyn faced a scandal when it was revealed that she had posed for nude photos before she became a star, but that revelation did not damage her career and instead resulted in increased interest in her films. By 1953, Monroe was one of the most marketable Hollywood stars. Marilyn had leading roles in the film Noir, Niagara, with Joseph Cotton which focused on her sex appeal, and the comedies Gentlemen Prefer Blondes with Jane Russell and How to Marry a Millionaire, with Betty Grable and Lauren Bacall which established her star image as a sexy dumb blonde. The same year, her nude photos were used as the centerfold and on the cover of the first issue of Playboy. Marilyn Monroe played a significant role in the creation and management of her public image throughout her career but she was disappointed when she was typecast and underpaid by 20th Century Fox. Marilyn was briefly suspended in 1954 by Fox's owner Spyro Skouras and head executive Daryl F. Zanuck for refusing to star in The Girl in Pink Tights, yet another musical comedy, but returned to star in the 1955 film The Seven Year Itch with Tom Yule which became one of the biggest box office successes of her career. When 20th Century Fox was still reluctant to change Monroe's contract, she founded her own film production company, MMP, Marilyn Monroe Productions in 1954. Marilyn dedicated 1955 to building her production company and began studying method acting under Lee Strasberg at the Actors Studio. Later that year, Fox awarded Marilyn a new contract, which gave her more control and a larger salary. Marilyn's subsequent roles included a critically acclaimed performance in the 1956 film, Bus Stop, and her first independent production under MMP in the 1957 film, The Prince and the Showgirl, with Laurence Olivier. Marilyn won a Golden Globe for Best Actress for her work in the 1959 film, Some Like It Hot, with Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon a critical and commercial success. Marilyn's last completed film was the 1961 drama, The Misfits with Clark Gable and Montgomery Clift. Marilyn Monroe's private life was filled with troubled and self-destructive behavior as she struggled with addiction and mood disorders. Marilyn's marriage in 1954 to retired baseball great Joe DiMaggio lasted less than one year and her marriage in 1956 to playwright Arthur Miller lasted only until 1961. On August 4, 1962, Marilyn Monroe died at age 36 from an overdose of barbiturates at her home in Los Angeles. Her death was ruled a probable suicide, but because of her highly publicized sexual relationship with President John F. Kennedy several conspiracy theories have been proposed in the decades following her death. Marilyn to this day is revered as a Hollywood icon and its sexual goddess.